were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now. It is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. 
Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Littleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Here. I need some help now. Sure thing. You copy, Command. Still looking. No sign of the perp. Find some place safe now. Roger. Uh, Command. Yeah, I'm here now. It's all clear. Over. I strongly suggest you... Over there! Brush him out! Come in, you there? 
You got bodies all over. Some assholes on a killing spree. Nothing to worry about. We're fine. Out. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent. And Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, Jason. James awaits your attention. Get back to your last known position. On the double. Oh my god. Can anyone please help me? I need help here. Oh my god, you're here. I need help. Terminator guy who's been working on Daddy's house? Same guy as just Cassidy, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the gas and on I know. But this fatty guy is driving yeah. me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. 
always ratting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit want between Janus and a local resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Ah, uh, whatever. Batty lives in number 432. He's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's gotta be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's well, diaries, it, it might contain some important information about his past. My books these days. Our. Be something that can help us locate the constant. Righty. Hmm. One of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. really impressed by all the wonderful things you have here. I wish my husband would let me have that much art inside the house. But he gets, well, <laughs> he doesn't appreciate it the same way I do. Well, Richard and I have similar interests, so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although, I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collecting dust in the attic. Microfilm? That's a interesting thing to collect. Well, it's sort of a hobby that never really took off. Besides, I don't have any microfilm to play on the viewer anyway. I'm not sure I could find any either. Hmm. Well, Janus Next Door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is that sort of thing uses. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. That's very good Back to in know. the day, Janus was known for his obsessive need to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. Hope everything is secure. Oh, did you see the video I posted? Fairly Got some old memories and some long ass stories. You drive me out of faith. Shows me all the memorabilia. They all left. When they said the world was right. They all left. When they said that man could fly. Janus, Cold War spy master and the first Providence Constant. At last, the actions of the first Constant catch up with him. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still, we are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. Shit! Open it, Jake! Hey! Stay sharp! Hey! You better get your head out of your ass. You double perimeter. I would strongly advise you to leave the area. Leave the area. Orderly fashion, please. Okay, so you're saying that I should... Oh! Okay. I need some help here! Can I get some backup? Did 
You do this. Fucking look at me when I'm talking to you. Copy that, command. Testing perimeter. Hey, you. You hearing impaired? Do not move another muscle. Trespasser. Head down. Incoming fire. I don't see him. Move to flanking position. Over there! Over there! Stay alert. Affirmative. Jesus, he's crazy! Best point. Oh, crap! Hey, he's hey. gone! How the hell did he manage that? What's that command? Okay, continuing search. Heads up, people, we have a situation here. Have any surprises? I understand. Come on, looks like the garden is all clear. Over. That's what I like to see. One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. Don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. 
I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in those poor old men that got. Calm down, demolition man. Look at the flesh of these mole. small. Still need it. We're gonna get some things on top. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the hole. Can you just blow up the hole? A robe for Janus? What could he need that for? Clearly, Janus is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. 